Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to create a reading list using the library's reading list system. The first thing we're going to do is open up our reading list service page, log in, and then create and structure our list. To open our reading list page, go to the library website and click on the collections tab, then select reading list service. Next, click on the reading list link. The main reading list service page now opens. Click on log in with your normal university details. To begin creating a list, click on the My Links link from the command bar. To start your list, click on the Create New List button. Fill in the reading list name. We recommend including the module code and module title. The description field can be left blank. Select Hierarchy to create the link with Blackboard. The modules will appear as you start typing in the search box. Select the appropriate module. Please include the approximate student numbers and remember to click on the Save button. Select the appropriate academic year for your reading list and click on Create List. Our List View Edit page now displays we can begin creating a structure for your list. First of all, I'm going to add an introduction to my list by clicking on the paragraph link. The paragraph option typically holds general information about the reading list or the module. I can cut and paste information from an existing Word document. This detail can be edited as required. Remember when finished to click on save. Now I want to add in some sections to my reading list, such as core or recommended reading. I click on add section from this action bar. I'm going to call this first section general reading. There's also a student note if you want to pass in any information to the students. Remember as always to click on save. So that's my first empty section created. I'm now going to create a number of new sections in a similar way, always using this action bar at the bottom. If you make a mistake, you can easily edit sections by clicking on the hidden command menu on the right hand side. This menu also allows you to move sections up or down or make some other changes as required. So we've added an introduction and a number of different sections to our reading list. The next stage is to add a number of resources to our list. Please see our next tutorial, adding resources and publishing your reading list.